Today, I'm breaking out my bread machine so that I can share with you a tasty fall yeast bread made with dried cranberries and pistachio nuts. It's the perfect fall breakfast, toasted, buttered, perfect for those chilly mornings. If you want something tasty, you'll love this bread. You don't need a fancy machine to make really delicious bread at home. This machine is not an expensive one. It works perfectly for my needs. I make very delicious bread that we love and you can too. You'll want one cup of warm water from your tap and do measure your water carefully. Two tablespoons of packed brown sugar, 360 grams of bread flour. Now I like to weigh my bread flour for consistency purposes. I find that when I weigh my bread flour, my results are excellent. One and a half teaspoons of table salt, two teaspoons of bread machine yeast, and I keep my bread machine yeast in the refrigerator so that it stays fresh. Two tablespoons of very soft butter, a half a cup of coarsely chopped dried cranberries, and a quarter of a cup of coarsely chopped green pistachio nuts. Making your bread is so easy. All you need to do is to add your ingredients to your bread machine. We're going to start with the wet ingredients for my machine. My warm water, one cup. My two tablespoons of very soft butter and my salt. I add my salt with the wet ingredients because I want to keep the salt away from the yeast. Next comes the sugar. And I like to stir the sugar around to dissolve it a little bit. It's not necessary, but I do it. My three cups or 360 grams of bread flour. my two teaspoons of yeast. I always put the yeast in last. And I'm going to save my mix-ins, my cranberries and my nuts, until my dough has started to mix and has formed a ball. At that point, I'm going to add my dried cranberries and my pistachio nuts to the dough. I'm using the dough cycle, so that means that the bread machine will mix and knead and rise the dough only through the first rise, and then I will take it out of the machine, shape it, let it rise again, and then bake it in the oven. I'm going to choose my cycle, which is the dough cycle. On my machine, it's number eight, and hit start. It will take about five minutes for the dough to reach the ball stage, and that's when I'll add the dried cranberries and the pistachio nuts. After five minutes, I check the dough. It's cleaning off the sides of the machine, and it's time for me to add the dried cranberries and pistachio nuts. The bread machine has finished its cycle. I've coated my hands with oil, olive oil, I'm going to deflate the dough, remove it from the machine, form it into a loaf, place it into my greased loaf pan, and cover the loaf pan loosely with plastic wrap. And let it rise until it reaches about an inch above the loaf pan. I'm going to preheat my oven to 350 degrees while the bread is rising and looking forward to making a delicious loaf of cranberry pistachio bread. The dough has risen to about an inch above the pan. I'm ready to put it into my 350 degrees Fahrenheit preheated oven for about 30 minutes until it's nice and brown. After 30 minutes, I like to check the internal temperature of my loaf of bread. Doesn't it look pretty? I'm looking for the internal temperature of the bread to be 190 degrees Fahrenheit. 
It is 203, so we're well into that range. I also like to either brush butter or just use a piece of butter and rub it across the crust <clears throat> so my crust will be soft and delicious. Turn your bread out onto a wire rack to cool completely. Let's cut into the cool bread and see what we got. Of course, you're gonna to wanna to use a serrated bread knife. There you can see the distribution of the cranberries and the pistachio. Take a look here. Doesn't it look beautiful? It's time to take the taste test. I have a half slice, not toasted, not buttered. Very nice. Now for a little bit of toasted and buttered. It's going to be hard to resist. Mm -mm. 